Hey guys, it's Justine, and today we're gonna be unboxing all three colors of the Oppo Find N phone. Now, I had so much fun checking out their Find X5 Pro that Oppo also partnered with me to showcase these phones for you. And why this is really exciting is because actually these devices are only available to purchase in China. So this is not something that I normally would be able to test out. Time to unbox. Spoiler, um, so I only have two that need to be unboxed because one of them is actually already open because I <laughs> wanted to check it out. But this is the purple one, and I haven't seen the other two yet because they're still in the box, but this holographic purple is, oh my God, it's so beautiful. Look at this, look at this, look at this. <gasps> so pretty in the feel. Like it's honestly, this is like the perfect size phone. Like I love my, oh my God, that's <laughs> so huge in comparison. This is the Pro Max. But like, here's the thing. When I open this up, I mean, technically it seems like it would, it's, Hmm, interesting. So obviously foldable devices, like that's not something that's new. And I think Samsung has really been leading that charge, but I think this is an incredible contender in that market. And it's kind of cool to see something that's not actually available here, but like this is something that can be in our future. I really like the size, the form factor of it because the fold is much taller, but it's skinnier. And then the flip is about the same size, but as a square. So this is kind of like something that's sort of right in the middle of both of those devices. I kind of think this might be the perfect size phone like this is whoa 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 <laughs> anyway i haven't even unboxed them and i'm already talking about it but like something about this there's something there so you saw the purple let's do the unboxing <gasps> whoa look at that oh look at this nice presentation like it just like pops right up don't know what that says so if someone would like translate for me i would appreciate it i really like this packaging <gasps> oh oh i don't understand anything that this says. So this looks like it's the white version. God, this design, like even on the Find X5, like I don't know what to call it. It looks like a little snowbank. <laughs> you can just like ski down it. I like that it's so seamless. I really like this hinge. This feels great. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so there it is. There's the white. And of course we have our, well, it's our, it's the front of the phone, but then here we have the inside. Okay, so we've got two phones so far. This purple is awesome, it's so sleek. Do you have anything else in here? Oh, yes we do. Charger. I like how cute this is. Look, they like basically like boxed it in like a perfect box. Like I don't, I honestly probably was completely unnecessary to put this in a box. Like you could have just been like, there you go. We've got some paperwork. Okay, I understand that. We'll just put that back. We've got our cable here. So now it's time for the black version. Here we go. Same box, same look. Here it is. Oh, wow. So this is actually very nice. So in person, it kind of looks like it has a slight little blue, like a midnight color, it seems like. It's, it's definitely a really nice matte. Look at that, this is so beautiful. I can't believe how nice these phones are. Like I honestly wasn't even sure what to expect because I have not reviewed very many Oppo phones before. So I am honestly pleasantly surprised with the quality. And I really love just this seamless camera bump. Like they really did a great job with that. This looks pretty great. I am definitely into it. So these are all now unboxed, which means, let's take a closer look. These are running a Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 with 12 gigs of RAM and up to 512 gigs of storage with a 4,500 milliamp battery life. It has a side fingerprint scanner inside the power button. And of course, the main highlight of this phone is the fact that it's foldable. This hinge has 136 components that will give you a super smooth fold. This is also allowing for a wider center fold so that there'll be less screen creasing and gaps between the display when folding. Speaking of displays, this is their custom 12 layer serene display for durability and flexibility when folding. It has this really super thin layer of ultra thin glass with the ability to be folded over 200,000 times while keeping its smooth feel and no crease. The screen inside is an LTPO display with smart dynamic refresh rate that adjusts from one to 120 hertz depending upon what you're doing. One of the things that I really like about this design is how flexible the hinge allows you to be with this device. It will kind of let you use it as a tripod for various shooting scenarios. Now, 
content creator, this is something that I absolutely love because you never really know kind of what you're gonna be doing when you're out and about shooting. So the fact that I could just set this down anywhere and set it at a specific angle that I want is pretty awesome. Another cool thing is that when the angle is below 60 degrees, the screen automatically will move the image preview to the bottom to make it easier to set up your shot. You can see that this would be pretty great for some sky time lapses. And those camera controls move lower on the screen for easier access. I absolutely love taking time lapse videos, so this is definitely something that I could see myself using this for. Now, this is a nice 90 degree work mode for email, chatting, or even just watching content. But one of the things I love is you can just open up the display to get a full screen experience. I'm definitely incredibly interested in the tech of this, and it's kind of showing us what the future has in store for us as far as foldable devices and the possibilities. There's a new split camera feature that will let you use the inner display to take photos on one side, and then you can view, share, or even delete the most recent ones that you took on the other. We love a multitasking queen. Now, if you're taking a photo from the main camera with a display unfolded, you can use both the inner and outer display for both you and whoever you're taking the photo for. I mean, there's been so many times where I've made my sister take photos. I'm like, let me see, let me see, let me see. Mm, we're gonna take another. But if she's taking it and I can kind of pose and get myself set and ready, I think that'll save us all a lot of time. We all know that the cameras on the backs of the phones are usually so much better. But with this foldable design, you can still preview your content even when it's taken with the cameras on the back. This does have a triple camera setup with the usual suspects, our wide, ultra wide, and telephoto. And as far as video is concerned, you can shoot 4K, 30, and 60. The selfie camera is a wide angle 32 megapixel camera and it will record 1080p 30 frames a second video. I have no idea what I just clicked on and uh, I think I'm shopping. I'm interested. Either way, this is kind of a cool demonstration of how the dual screens are kind of working, even though this is one full screen. So like I'm browsing over here, shopping over here. I don't know if I should continue clicking things because I might start shopping by accident. I may accidentally enter my credit card and I don't know so I should not be clicking around. Okay, let's check out a couple more apps. What's this? Don't know what I'm doing. This looks like we might be listening to music. Audiobooks. It's an audiobook. That's a song. So okay. Okay, so maybe maybe it is music. Let's go to my front screen. Yes, it went to the front screen! Oh man, okay, so I just took a selfie and I was like, wait, that's not actually what I look like. There's some retouching filters on. Okay, so I'm gonna turn the skin textures all the way up. Cheeks, I can change my cheekbones. I can change my eye size. Wait, I can change my nose. I can change my chin. Wait, I can change my entire head. I've turned into a character. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really had a great time checking out this device. I'm so into foldable phones and honestly, like the form factor of this phone, I really do hope that they bring something like this to the US because honestly, like I can't, I really just can't get over the form factor. It's like the perfect phone size and the screen display, like once it's unfolded, it's, it's honestly like perfect. Oh, I'm so into it. <laughs> Anyway, if you guys want to subscribe to my channel, be sure to hit subscribe if you aren't already. And of course, hit the bell so you'll be notified when I post new videos. And I would love to hear from you guys in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think of these devices and is this something that you would look forward to checking out if it was here in the US. And some of you guys are international, so you might not even be in the States. You may be somewhere else. So wherever you are, is this something you might be into? I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.